Hi, how are y'all doing? It is July the 31st, 2024. It's Thursday. Here in Ontario, Canada, the skies are now blue. In the rising, it was cloud covered. But throughout the day, it broke up and now it's just blue. That weird blue again, right? It's not a clear blue. So hot though, it's like 29 today. It's more supposed to be hotter. But the humidity go, uh, gets lower. It goes up at night, right? In the rise, it's 100%, and throughout the day, it lowers. So it makes it more bearable, right? It's not a bad thing. I had to go drive the guy around. He called me. He uh, signed himself out of the hospital again. He's coherent. I can, I could understand him, but I let him know that if I can't understand him anymore, I am not going to drive him, right? Because it irritates me. He says, you're not the only one. That's how everybody treats me at the house. I said, then maybe you should go get yourself looked after. So this stops, right? But yeah, he's stubborn. Who knows, right? He's sick, jabbed. So yeah. The Schumann today is at 21. I was 22 yesterday. I didn't make a video yesterday. I just had a quiet day. I was getting ready for the Mercury retrograde, I think. So did you feel any Mercury retrograde? I felt it today, right? It's uh, when you're expecting something to happen, it might not happen when you think it's going to. It's going to take longer. So I'd say hurry up and wait, all right? I think that's what the energy is going to be like. Hurry up and wait. You know what's going to happen. But it's not going to happen when you want it to happen or when you expect it to. So be prepared. Mercury retrogrades here for the whole month of September. All right? They say it comes in on the 4th of August and ends on the 29th, I think, of August or of September. Something like that. I think that's right. I might be wrong. Maybe it's 29th of August. I have to recheck that. So, yeah. It's not a bad energy. It is what it is. Just slow down and don't expect anything. Right? I taught my children, expect nothing, appreciate the positive moments. Right? And this way you don't get disappointed or depressed when it doesn't happen when you want it to. Okay? Okay. Um... I was sitting here when I got up and a song came in my head. Do you know what it was? Stop the world and let me off. That's not in tune at all. I'm tired of going round and round. I played the game and love and lo of love and lost. So stop the world and let me off. Jeez, did I ever butcher that? I sung it a lot better in the rise when I got up. I don't know what happened. And so I thought about it. Why did that song come into my mind? I haven't heard that for years. It's something my mother used to play on her radio, on her record player, right? And then I thought, that's a song about reincarnation, the reincarnation machine, right? Because they kept on sending you through the machine, your soul through the machine, and it come back and reincarnate. See, the, the reincarnation machine's gone. It's been taken over, so that's not going to happen anymore. Right? But, yeah, that's what that song was about to me. Stop the world and let me off. I'm tired of going round and round. Right? Makes sense. Does it resonate with you? Okay. Um, what did I write down here? Oh, I got a, my, my friend George came over, called me up, wanted to have a coffee with me, so he came over for a visit, and he pretty much apologized to me, right? He said a lot of the stuff, he says, I'm a really smart person, woman, and a lot of the stuff I say makes sense, but there, or is, is smart, but, a lot, but then there, he says there's just some stuff that he thought was crazy, and he said everything, he says, I just come to tell you that everything you said is true, is coming true. He says, I, I'm sorry I called you crazy. I thought that you're, you know, and I was like, yeah, hey, eh? and I said, why would you hate, why would you be friends or want to be around somebody that's crazy or stupid, George, right, why, 
I said, I wouldn't. Right? So we changed the subject. Another agent Smith. Right? Yeah, how about that, right? Now I got two apologies. One from the guy I drive around for thinking I was crazy. And one from my friend George. Right? And I use the same reference all the t every time. That's what they said at Tesla, too, you know. He was crazy because of all his inventions. And, oh, my gosh, he got information from meditating and getting downloads from aliens and stuff. He's crazy. He's stupid, right? You know? Until years later, when they see his inventions, and then it's like, he's a genius. Oh, my gosh. He's so smart. I love Tesla. Nikola Tesla. Right? But they were calling him stupid and crazy. See how two-faced people are, right? You know, but I don't say that. I'd be different. I'd be like, yeah, that's how it goes, you know? When you're smarter than other people, they don't get it. You must be stupid or crazy because they don't understand, right? You know? So, yeah. Didn't feel any better him apologizing to me. Not at all because I don't like when people doubt me. It's a shame. People have always underestimated me, especially men. That's their biggest mistake. Yeah, because they ain't seen nothing yet. I'm just getting started. You know? For sure. I'm a mess. You have to excuse my hair. I was hot. I was sweating a lot today. Uh, what was that? Okay, too. I noticed the last for the last week, or for a while, I suppose maybe longer than a week. My neighbors are looking at me really strange when I'm when I go outside, right? I go to check the mail or get in or out the vehicle, right? I get a really weird look from them. A couple walked past yesterday when I was talking to my son outside, and the one guy put his hand up across his face like that. When he walked past me, I was standing like right here, right? And I was like, what the heck is that all about? Because he was looking me right in the eye as he was, as they were walking up. And then as soon as he gets up to close to me, he covers his eyes, right? Even the children, right? The vaccinated children are looking at me strange. Not sure what that's about. If they see my light, if they're afraid of me, I don't know, right? It's just weird. And it's not just, it's like when I'm driving around too, right? Or, or parked on the side of the road waiting, or on the street waiting for the guy to get out of a store or whatever, right? People walk by and they give me a really strange look. Has it been happening to you, you know? Or is it just me? I've always gotten people stared at me my whole life. But this is just a little different of a look. I'm not quite used to it, right? I got better armor up. Get my friggin' bat and my switchblade ready? I don't know, right? I don't know. I'll be okay, don't worry. Source never gives me more than I can handle. So, yeah. I've seen a woodpecker again in the rise. This one stayed for a long time. Long enough for me to call my son and say, Hey, do you want to see a woodpecker? Come here and look at my window. Right? My son came and looked out the window and was like, wow. And we stood there for a minute or two. It's be I said, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is. Look at the feather down the middle of the back. It's white. And look at all the speckles, you know, all the spots on the sides, the ends of the tips of the wings, right? Because he was, you know, getting ready. It was like he was posing. I even got a couple pictures of him. Or her. I'm not sure if it's male or female. But it was a fair size, right? Not as big as the red-headed woodpeckers, but a fair size. And I looked it up, the spiritual meaning of a woodpecker. And it's a good sign again, right? It is. So I knew something would happen when I seen that bird in the tree. I wasn't sure what was going to happen through, you know? But it seems to be a sign for me. Every time a bird comes in my tree, I have there's something that happens, right? Today, the guy called me up for a ride, right? And I wasn't expecting that. I thought, you know, he would probably be too sick or in the hospital still or whatever. Or mad at me because he thinks I called the police and the ambulance to take him to the hospital, which I didn't. 
right? You know, the doctor's office did because they could understand them. But yeah, strange, right? Now my son's girlfriend's coming over. She's going to spend the night. He just went out with her to get dinner, probably. <coughs> Big brunch cheese or something like that. Same as the ear rain. Um, I didn't have it when I rose, but around 11.30, I think, around there, it got faint ring in my left ear, and it's getting louder and louder. So I think the Schumann might be rising, right? We got those Halo CMEs, a whole bunch of them blasted off the other day, right? And I think another one again today, if I'm correct. Well, you know, I'm not sure. But yeah. All right, that's enough. I love you all, so consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Bye.